Hello everyone I'm Neela Mishra hope you are doing good and appreciating my channel that provides high quality lecture videos on various subjects let me quickly introduce you to the topic of today's presentation i'm going to talk about water quality assessment parameters and standards in india this topic is of immense concern not only for competitive exam aspirants but also for the general public awareness well we all need clean safe and adequate fresh water which is of utmost importance to human existence and the survival of all living components in the ecosystem safe and readily available water facilitates the practice of hygiene which is a key measure to prevent numerous diseases however ongoing climate change crisis increasing water scarcity population growth and rapid rate of urbanization pose challenges for the universal access to basic drinking water human activities on all spatial scales has impacted both water quality and quantity degradation of water quality has become a global issue of concern because of its inherent ability to cause major alteration to the hydrological cycle also known as water cycle it is one of the most challenging problems that human beings are facing in the past few decades endangering public health disturbing ecosystem functionality affecting economic growth as well as contributing to the crisis of food insecurity the main source of water pollution occurs due to disposal of enormous amount of inadequately treated or untreated sewage and industrial affluents directly into the water bodies in addition countless non point water pollution sources arising from urban and semi urban regions along with agriculture systems frequently contribute to the total pollution load in the water bodies water quality issues are complex and diverse directly or indirectly impacting our environmental economic and social affairs therefore deserves urgent global attention and action united nations sustainable development goal 6 goes beyond providing safe drinking water sanitation and hygiene to also address the quality and sustainability of water resources the goal is to achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water to all improve water quality by reducing pollution eliminating dumping and minimizing release of hazardous chemicals and materials and substantially increasing recycling safe reuse to overcome water scarcity by the year 2030 coming back to the topic of this video let me take you to the learning objectives which include the definition of water quality what do we mean by water quality assessment what are the parameters used for water quality analysis after going through the complete video you will also get to know about the categorization of water on the basis of designated use and why is it important to monitor water quality on a continuous basis let's start with the definition of water quality all the available water is of certain quality while water full of dirt and soil particles might be good for irrigating a plant but would you like to drink it the logical answer is no so what does water quality really mean well Water quality is generally defined as chemical, physical and biological properties of water usually with respect to its suitability for a designated use. In other words, it is a measure of water conditions relative to the need or purpose of humans or even the requirements of various land or aquatic animal species. The consumption of water containing pathogenic organisms or toxic chemicals and the use of inadequate volumes of water results in poor hygiene and pose serious risks to human health. This means the characteristic of water like taste, color, odor, etc. might render it unfit for consumption and can be rejected by end users. For this reason Water quality assessment is of utmost importance and is one of the most important aspects of the water management. This has attained significant global attention over the years in view of the growing concerns and awareness on environment and health related issues. Now let's understand what do we mean by water quality assessment. 
the assessment of water quality is carried out by determining its physical chemical and biological properties or parameters against a set of standards in simple words it includes the evaluation of physical chemical and microbiological state of the water in relation with the natural state anthropogenic effects and future uses as shown in this slide these three types of parameters of water quality are considered as basic and given priorities in any water quality assessment program according to who guidelines water quality assessment provides a baseline information on water safety physical parameters of water quality are those that are de- de- determined by the senses of sight smell taste and touch these physical parameters include color taste odor temperature turbidity and electrical conductivity chemical parameters of water quality are measures of those characteristics which reflect the environment with which water has contact these chemical parameters include ph hardness amount of dissolved oxygen chemical oxygen demand and levels of inorganic ions or salts toxic organic and inorganic substances as well as radioactive substances the list is presented on your screen Biological parameters of water quality are those measurements that affect the number of pathogenic microbes such as bacteria, viruses, protozoans, algae found in water. The water quality parameters are then used as a reference to a set of standards based on the intended uses of the water. Shifting the focus on the classification of water quality, there are three broad categories based on the designated use of water. First, water quality for human consumption second water quality for industrial and domestic use and third environmental water quality in india central pollution control board has developed a concept of designated best use according to this five best uses have been identified which helps the water quality managers to set the water quality targets and design suitable restoration programs Description of designated use of water is summarized in this table on your screen. Water quality for human consumption also called potable water covers safe drinking and cooking water necessary for maintaining healthy life and development for individuals and societies. Specifications for drinking water stipulate the maximum permissible concentration of contaminants in the water for designated use. Water quality for industrial and domestic use referred to as process water is used in industry manufacturing processes power generation and similar applications environmental water quality is highly important for the well-being of flora and fauna in oceans rivers lakes swamps and other wetlands it impacts people and higher order species which depend upon these ecosystems for food and transfer of nutrients so this brings us to the end of this presentation The government of India is working hard to achieve the ever mentioned targets of sustainable development goal and to have a coherent approach to address water related issues. In India, the subject of water quality assessment is allocated to Ministry of Water Resources, now known as Jal Shakti Mantralay, which is responsible for performing various functions. A comprehensive list of actions is presented in this slide. I will talk about the various schemes and policies on water related issues in the next video. I hope you like the video and would find the content useful and relevant for competitive exams. I believe knowledge shared is knowledge squared. So keep sharing my videos in your network and post your valuable feedback in the comment box. Thank you for your patience and kind attention. Keep drinking safe water. and take a pledge to conserve water to save our home planet thank you once again